Okay, so we're going 100 miles offshore because it's only blowing like 19 or 20. Just kidding. We've got Ben, Ellie, Mama. So we got a little bit of a window here. We want some fresh fish. So I got to tell you, yesterday I went out, got put my new Simrad in and went out and gave it a test run. One of uh, my fishing poles actually flew out of the boat when I was towing the boat to the to the ramp. Somebody passed me and they're like, one of your poles fell out on, what? So I went back there, it was crushed in the road. Never had that happen before. Lost nets, lost a couple of little things blow out when you forget, but never had a pole go out. But yeah, it kind of stinks. That was a pole I bought probably 30 years ago. But they make more. Okay, we saw you at the ramp the other day. Yep. We saw your truck wrap. Yep. We saw you coming over the bridge, and I actually Googled or YouTubed it on the way home. Oh, did you check it out? Yeah, I did. Awesome, man. Yeah, absolutely. That's, I know. This is me. Wes. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. He's got a whole bunch of nice pilchards, yeah, greenbacks. My, my buddy Max and I, we both catch it. That's awesome. But yeah, I was checking out the channel, and I know it's all about getting the views and everything. Yeah, so. for sure, man. I'll see you alive well, looking good. Yeah, we're full. So West turned us on to a new spot. Well, it's a spot we've fished before, but there's some mackerel in there right now. Awesome. He said some pretty big ones. That is super. You guys should have plenty, hopefully. Yep. But yeah, man, I would recommend going there for mackerel. I know yeah. a lot of people have been messing with the snapper around the past. Yeah, we were gonna hit a few bridges and then some docks, but okay. I'd love to, can you say they're running pretty big right yeah, now? Yeah, there's some good sized ones out there. So. All right, well, we might go do that first before it gets too ugly out. Yeah, the weather's coming. That's All good. right, did you get paid? Yes. Okay, you. here you go, brother. Yes, thank you very much, man. Thank you, it, man. we'll see you soon. You ready to do this, guys? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Five pounder. I'm a well, that'll happen. Thanks again, Wes. Thank you very much for stopping by. You betcha. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Thanks, bro. For sure. All right, so. We just dropped the anchor. Got a little hole out here. Got a lot of birds working. Lots of birds, which tells me there's lots of bait. So hopefully the mackerel are around. I'm gonna see if we can bring them up. Just gonna grab a handful of these guys. I don't like throwing them all out together because they just school right back up and hide underneath the boat. They probably will eventually. The mackerel don't find them first. See their teeth, 60 pound leader, their teeth won't. That'll help. You're still going to lose some though. It's inevitable. Get it out there. That'll be fun on this little light set up here oh yeah what do you think no blue runner good bait too bad we're not going offshore you know what I might I gotta check the footage but we were out here I showed you the swim buoys when we were driving out it was, uh, gosh, maybe a month and a half, two months ago. And Got one. Right on cue, baby girl. Well, anyway, there was a hammerhead shark out here that was huge. Another trout. All right. And I don't know if he was, he was eight or 10 feet and he was right by the swim buoys. People are out there swimming. Brandon had a mullet on, dropped the mullet down on his head. He ate that. Oh, he's going for it. Okay, Wait, maybe. Up. You still see him? Yeah, he's right underneath the boat. Look at that. Come here. Come here. Get Look him on film. Oh, oh, I got him. I got him. <laughs> you ain't going to have that for very long. Hold on, hold on. We got it. We can see hold the big on. Hook. I got the big rig here. Yeah, yeah. 
Hold on. That is giant. Just, you watch the shark. <laughs> He's right here. I got him on film. Right, I'm gonna grab the big. Right, right behind the boat. Uh, and there's people swimming right there. You got people 50, 60 yards from the boat, and there's a five, 600 pound hammerhead. People, hammerhead. That's what he's here for. That's tarpon. Yep. That's what he's in here feeding on. That's hammerhead, one of their favorite foods. Let me liven this place up a little bit here. It's nice to have all this extra bait. Yo! Hey, hey, baby! Oh, a little mackerel! All he's got to be is 12 inches. He's all that. Good job, honey. Careful those teeth, kid. Yeah, that's definitely. That's what we're looking for. Get a fresh bait on. They got to be down there, Ben. I'm marking a few on the bottom. Oh, he's hooked up. Get me quick, 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 quick! Oh. Heck yeah, man. A little bigger. Yeah, that's like a 16 incher. All right. All right, guys, we need to liven them up again, don't we? Mad. Look at him coming after it. No, go down, fish. Oh, no. pull it out of his that mouth. One. All right, good job, James. Ooh, that looks like a good one. Definitely better than the whale. Yep, Ben, be be careful. She might be coming your way. All I want you to do is reel it right up to the leader and swing him right in the boat. Oh, that's a jack, isn't it? Is that a jack? Oh yeah, nice, Jack Cravel. Good job, James. Uh oh, here I'll get you. Well, he got it that hook. You like these, don't you? I do too. I love them. So we did the, the the one you really liked is when we seared it really rare with sesame seeds. That was amazing. All right, well, well he's dead, so we might as well not waste him. All right, guys. We wanted fresh meat. That's we haven't even been got. out here an hour. You feel like a good one? Oh, Jack. Jack. Cravel? Yeah. Can we eat him? Oh, a nice one. No, if he's, he can let him go. He's not hooked bad. Okay. Here you go, Bubba. Good job, Ben. They fight good, don't they? Yeah. They're saying hi to everybody. What's up? Hey, all them baits are schooled up right below the boat. All right. Get another one on, buddy. The boat next to us just caught a nice shark, probably like a five footer. I don't know if it was a black tip or sandbar. Oh, she's got one. Oh, yeah, another jack. I'll bet you. Well, that might be a mackerel. Jack, Look, there's the mackerel. <laughs> yeah, nice jack, James. Oh, that's funny. Look at them blowing up, they're just chasing the bait. Want me to get him, hun? I just got real close. Oh, my baby. There he goes. That was a perfect red pet for the leaf. Yeah, it was. What you got? Nice job. Kind of pulling money. Oh, yeah. Good job. Little one. Oh, I got one. 
<laughs> Perfect timing, Al. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Ben's hooked up too. Yeah, get him in the boat. Another jack. Wow, them things fight good, don't they, on this light tackle? You might want to let him go, okay, Big Ben? He's, he's big enough, but he's not bleeding. We'll catch him bigger ones. You know what? Keep him, go ahead and keep him. Put him in the cooler. Yep. Worst, worst case, I know Brandon and Steven would love some fresh fish. He jumped. <laughs> he, he wanted to go live in the aquarium. He jumped right out of my hand. Look at all the bait go over. Yeah, they're like, oh, no, no, no. They fight awesome, man. Especially on that little 3K. He gutted that one. That might be dinner, too. The sharks are going to eat him if we throw him back. Flick him right in the boat, right at me. Good job, Ben. All right. One more for the box. Oh, that's a good jack. Looks like a nice jack. Oh, it's a big mackerel. Reel him all the way up. Swing him in the boat, baby girl. Drop him on the floor. That's a good one, girl. Oh, heck yeah, man. That's like a 20 something incher. I don't know. You fighting? It's a jack. Another one. No, it's a blue runner. Another blue runner. I think it's time to chum up the mackerel again. Swing him in the boat, baby! Nice! One, nice. High, five. High five. Pound it. Heck yeah, man. Pound it. Noggin. Noggin. Perfect. It's blowing, but what's saving us right now is it's coming offshore. So the wind is coming out of the east. But um, starting to get some storms moving in. We went through one rainstorm, and uh, that's the direction we gotta go. We gonna get wet. Looks like it's sticking around. We got fish in the box, that's all that matters. We got ourselves a catch, clean, and cook. All right guys, we'll see you back at the house after we get nice and wet. We're gonna make fish fingers. Patriots are playing right now. It's kind of weird because so aren't the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I don't know which game I'm looking forward to uh, to watching more. So if you guys, we got a lot of new subscribers, so I don't want to beat a dead horse, but a lot of people don't know this. I grew up in New England, so I lived there for probably 18, 19 years. And uh, yeah, so somehow I found someone that would accept my sports, uh, what would you say? It's more than just a... It's really kind of an obsession for me, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Ellie's over there laughing. But anyways, so um, yeah, we're going uh, to make some fish fingers and we're going to watch the game because Tampa Bay plays later. One thing too, we want to we wanna let everybody know we're going to fillet the fish inside. And the reason being is we've got like this hurricane thing that's happening here on the Gulf and it has been raining since yesterday and uh, that's headed to New Orleans and all them areas over there and they they haven't even recovered from the last one so let's let's uh, shoot some prayers up for them you may be getting this 
right around the time I put this out would probably about the time that it hits over there so scary stuff man anyhow let's get to it all right guys we're gonna make this quick cuz uh, I don't want to miss the game I'm just gonna go up the bones the backbone like this all the way up through the ribs that nice fillets like perfect. perfect leave a little bit on the end something I can grab it with get a little bend in that knife try not to cut through the skin I don't think the girls are a big fan of the skin. Just the thought of it, right, baby? I love the skin too, Benjamin. All right, now we've got our pin bones that run to about here, but we're just gonna take the, the whole bloodline and everything out for this. So we're left with the nice best part of the meat. We left a lot of the bloodline right on the skin. And there we go. Now, we'll just take them, cut them into nice little fish finger size pieces, and there we go. We're gonna make our tartar sauce now. These jalapenos actually came from the same place where the last video, the fish head came from, our friend Ben. And look at, I just brought those over and they, they're picking that many like every day. So some nice fresh jalapeno. Also, a little bit of onion. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to put that stuff right in here. Probably go over that, that much. Now what we want to do, guys, is we're going to add a little bit of dill to it also. Nice fresh dill. That smells awesome. Kind of finely cut. Very fragrant. If you don't know what dill smells like, guys, it smells like your pickles, the pickle jar. That should be plenty. We'll see, see how we end up. Now, we add a little bit of lemon. Lemon juice is a must. The seeds are not a must. I'm gonna take some of this. Greek yogurt, don't don't get the uh, low fat. It doesn't work as well. Okay, we're gonna take a couple scoops, one big scoop. Now this is my favorite kind of mayo. Roughly equal parts. If anything, I would go a little more mayo, but equal will work just fine. I'm going to take a dash of this cumin. All right. I would say about that. All right. Sweet relish, guys. Any kind you like. Give that a shot. There we go. Some Dijon. Not too much of that. You can always add more, but you can't take it back out. Okay, now let's give this a stir. Let's just see what we got here. That'll do it. Now the onions, they add a nice crunch to it, so don't the pickles. Never mind the flavor, it's just all comes together real nice now we can just take a big pile of that and chunk it down on our plate now if you let it sit in the refrigerator for about a half hour that's going to give you your best results and let the, the flavors blend okay let's prepare our fish it's cooking olive oil we like olive oil i think it's a little healthier it's actually a lot healthier we're going to put 
quite a bit in there enough to maybe cover you know about half of the uh, fish fingers as they cook all right here's what we're going to use to uh make them what we're going to make parmesan crusted fish fingers okay so we'll put some of them in there and then we like this this kind of parm it's nice big chunks so we're going to mix that around in there the parmesan smells so good too Okay, now let me grab some fish fingers. I'm just gonna quick season these things up. I'm just gonna use uh, a little of the Himalayan salt. I'm gonna do this to both sides. And then we're gonna give the, uh, the Key West Key Lime seasoning a shot. It smells very good. Okay. Egg wash over to here, pat it down, boom. There's a jack fillet. Okay, guys, we're just gonna finish battering these up. start cooking this oil should be hot enough there we go I'm sure you all know it's important to try to get it all in at the same time that way you're not overcooking the first ones only been maybe a minute and a half but we're already starting to get a golden brown yeah I think they're ready to flip they're all nice and starting to get crispy oh yeah yep I'm telling you guys that olive oil makes a big difference because that Regular olive oil would already be burnt or butter, anything like that. Man, does that smell yummy. Look at that Parmesan hanging on for dear life. They're close. I always like to lay them on a paper towel, guys, just to suck up the extra oil. A little bit healthier. Oh, yeah. I would say we are good. Let me turn the heat off. These are going to be yummy. You're missing the game, girl. <laughs> Cam Newton's been running the ball all over the place. That is something that uh, the defense for the opposing team has not had to worry about very often in the last 20 years. Although Brady could surprise you every now and then. Can't wait to see Brady play today, too. Those look great. Toss salad. Got our homemade tartar. Fish sticks. Anyhow, I'm going to be the test dummy today, but before we do that, we're going to say a quick prayer, okay? Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We ask uh, you, if you will please keep people safe from this 
hurricane that's developing here in the Gulf, dear God, and we just ask that you will um, be with the people that have already suffered this tragedy once not long ago. Keep them safe, dear Lord. We thank you for all of the many gifts that we have and all of the many blessings, dear Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Okay, well, what do you think? Can I be the test dummy, please? Mm -hmm. Oh, that fish is juicy. Oh, it's a tartar sauce. Mm. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. You know, a lot of people, they don't like to mess with mackerel very often or jack for that matter you know what this could be one of my favorites that we've done i know we've done it before but that we changed a few things up with the tartar sauce and then using that those big that chunky style cheese Oh my word. Sorry, babe. You're next. It is so good. Let me film for you. Oh my word. That tire sauce is awesome. fish you got there. It might be mackerel. You like that tartar? I love it. Come here, Ben. Gonna try this, bud. Yep. He'll like it, honey. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. The dill, too. That fresh dill. You can use powdered dill. You can use whatever you want, but give this a whirl, big guy. Here, smear some on there. Mm. Wait till you taste that. Ben was napping. <laughs> it's a rainy day here in Florida. That's actually really good. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. I think your sister's sleeping, so we might want to go wake her up. Is that nummy? No. I think we need to go keep catch more of those guys. Oh, are you filming? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> That is yummy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we love you all. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't, if you could, that'd be awesome. Don't forget, if you like our videos, please give us a big thumbs up. That would help us out a lot. But anyhow, thank you, guys. And we're going to see you guys in the next one. We're out.